Hello everybody, it's Joe Kennedy, Joe the Connector Kennedy, aka The Hair Farmer. It is uh, less than 30 days until I finally get to harvest my hair for the benefit of children and uh, locks of love. The um, project's been going on now for almost 20 months, I mean, uh, shoot, two years and eight months, 32 months I believe, um, since I got my last haircut and I want to do a little video each day tell a little bit about my experience and um, the reason that I actually started the project thehairfarmer.com was uh, I just woke up one day and was told you need to be the hair farmer and, and I'm not very good at listening to my intuition but I decided to go with it and um, it's been an experience uh, there's been some ups and downs and some fun and uh, got to meet a lot of really cool people which I'm very thankful for. It's going to be interesting to to see if anybody um, knows me or recognizes me once I get my hair cut but that, that comes in another month or so. Um, by the way if you'd like to attend the ceremony it's, we're going to turn it into a um, a benefit for Overlake Service League. We're going to have some raffle items to um, sell raffle tickets for. Should have some beer and, and wine and some food, some nibbles there. It's going to be held at the Flint or Flint Men's Grooming on Main Street in Bellevue on April 21st from 5 to 8 o'clock. Everybody is welcome. Please come and invite your friends. You can RSVP on the event page at eastsideentrepreneurs.com. Uh, there's also a Facebook event uh, page for the main event on Main. M A N E event on Main. M A I N. And uh, anyway, the reason I started becoming the hair farmer or started growing hair for benefit of children with medical problems is when I was a kid about uh, 10, 11 years old, I had a couple of extended stays in, in children's orthopedic hospital, it was called back then. And uh, kids would, be, would come in from all over the country and the world, really sick kids, and um, many of them had leukemia, and the leukemia treatment wasn't as good as it is today. Many of them didn't make it out of the hospital. And the ones that did, most of them had gone through chemotherapy and lost their hair. They're going back to junior high school where kids are cruel anyway. But um, it, it was just a real hard situation if you go back to school after missing a bunch of time and then you look so much different from everybody else. It's It's got to be an experience that none of us that haven't been through it would want to go through or wish on anybody. So um, my goal uh, with the Hair Farmer Project was to um, increase awareness for the program. Locks of Love is the hair charity of choice of children at Seattle Children's Hospital, which is why I chose Locks of Love, have the connection with Seattle Children's. I was one of the lucky ones. I, um, my situation wasn't nearly as bad as many there and um, I, I got off relatively scot-free and um, but I am happy to contribute give back try to increase awareness get other people to donate hair the my original goal was to get a thousand people to donate hair that I haven't come close to that embarrassingly enough but I have got a number of people interested hopefully we'll still get a few more people um, to get their hair harvested along with mine on April 21st at Flint Men's Grooming, the main event on Maine. April 21st, 5 to 8. Hope you can be there. Thanks for listening to my rambles.